Alright, we are back, and we are going to move on up to the east side. Well, you know what? As always, first things first. You see torches, you take them. Cause they are how you stay alive. What's this, a broom? Yes, let's take us a broom. Let's look at the broom. Sure. That doesn't make a lick of sense. Oh, well. Long cold highway. Highway. Hallway. Jesus. Well, like any good hero, let's open up some coffins. Wow. A banshee flies out and wrecks our ears. Let's do it again. Oh, fine. Let's open this. Ooh, a bag. Let's open this, too. Ooh, a mummy. Straight and still. Oh, hear that? That's the panic torch music. That means we're in trouble. However, we took care of that. Um, I don't like mummies. Let's burn them. Sweet. Turns out grave robbing and pyromaniacy, pyromaniacy will serve you well. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh. Take it. There we go. Let's open the bag. What do we got? We got coins. Well, let's take the coins. They don't look like they're all that valuable. They appear to be copper coins. Well, let's... No, let's see. <laughs> what a royal rip. <laughs> you know what? Probably gotta open this way behind us. Yeah. Wow. What if we go backwards? And we're back here. So... Uh, let's go right. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, I want to go swimming, don't you? Well, I don't think we're going to mess with that for now. Hey, what's that skeleton got in his hand? I don't care about the skeleton. He's dead. It's a small brass key. Sweet. Nothing we can do about that for now. Oh, poor, poor... Looks like there's a staircase or something under there. That's too bad. What are we going to do about it? Stone's almost perfectly round. That sounds like good ammunition for our sling. Let's take us some stones. What do you mean I can't take it? It's right there. Ah, touchy controls. Alright, now here's the first time in the game you have to actually point at the screen to move through. I don't know. They look somewhat regular to me. Must be eating their fiber. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh god, that's awful. Let's hit a rock, because it's out of place. Anything that's out of place in this game is probably going to come into play for you. And you got to be willing to try a lot of things. The bag one. Three large jewels, you don't say. Let's look at them. Pommel of a sword. That sounds pretty big. My adventures across the sea of blood. I don't know if I want to see or remember that, quite frankly, if I had to go across a sea of blood. Well, if only there was card games, we will gamble them away. What about a children's card game? No, we're not going to play Yu-Gi-Oh. That's just ridiculous. Come on. All right, so... With those gems in hand, we can now go do a few things of interest. Oh, you silly shark. If only there was a way I could take care of you. But I can't. Let's open this door. Now that we've done that, let's not open the floor. I see torches. It's 
It's a large pedestal. Good for it. What's this? It's a small hole in the wall some three inches deep. Well, you know what? I bet you... I bet you that I should use another torch, because it's going to start giving me panic music in a second. I don't like the panic music, so it really does its job effectively, since I don't want to hear it. White gem? Yay, white gem! Ooh, a crystal sphere. What's it got to say? It's cold as ice. Wow. Sounds like it's been used to make a, a beer commercial. Let's open some stuff. Alright. See this right here? It says, all it says is the door is open. It tells you nothing. If you go down there, you die. It's just one of those things they have in the game where you die for just trying a simple thing. It's not very nice. That ladder, there's nothing there. and You just fall down and break, your, break every bone in your body. But forget about that. We're in a hot room right now. What's that? Two eyes in the darkness. Huh. Well, you know what? One of these items will save us if we take it first. So let's take the shield. Because otherwise, you are hamburger meat. Alright, let's take a couple things. Let's take uh, this axe. Oh, it's a hammer. Looks like, honestly looks like an axe to me, but okay. How about we take... Uh, how about we take the sphere while we're at, sphere while we're at it? Well, you know what? I'm getting the hell out of here. Now, the reason I left is you can only get hit so many times when you're in that room before you die anyway, even with the shield. But if you leave, it resets the counter. So, let's take us a skull. Might be saying, ew, Brian. Well, we might need it later. And you'll see why. Take a bone. It's another one we might need later. And we'll take a helmet. We'll take a helmet. All right. And we'll just move out of here real quick. And we'll move back to here. And we'll just take this torch and then get out of here. You cannot open that treasure chest. I know it's very unfortunate. But what can you do? Now, once we get out of here. We're not going down the ladder. Now that we've got a chance, we're a little safer. Let's take a look at that uh, sphere. I said, let's take a look at that sphere. There we go. It's cold as ice. Remember? It wants to sell beer. Well, barring selling beer, how about we use this cold as ice sphere to uh, take care of our little problem in the water here? And fantastic. That means the shark is dead. Frozen to death for archaeologists to find years from now. We now have key three. That's fantastic news. Now, it's still it's stuck in the ice. However, we're going to need it later. So, we are going to use our torch to magically melt the whole lake long enough to let it rise out. And the lake refreezes, so we can grab it. Now, here's the thing. If you put your torch directly onto that, it will snuff out your torch, and it will kill you. Isn't that lovely? That's what I thought. Well, with that stuff done, let's go into here, and let's go through to here. All right, let's go... Yeah, let's go down here. You know, that looks suspiciously like a door. Well, let's go through. Oh my, what do we have here? It's a stone wall, that's great. This concave polygon, it seems to have been carefully carved into the stone. Huh, I wonder what we'd use in there. I don't know, but if I had to bet, it'd either be a red gem or a blue gem. So... I'll leave it to you guys to figure out amongst yourselves which one we are going to use. So, I think we'll leave off there. So I will see you guys next time as we venture further and further into the castle Shadowgate.